or the UN Human Rights uh, the Commission of Inquiry. We are asking for $4.4 billion for the whole of 2013. We estimate that 6.8 million people now need urgent help. That is one in three Syrians in need of urgent humanitarian assistance. And between January and April, the number of people displaced within Syria more than doubled. The problem is, is if this money is not spent catering for the humanitarian needs of this population, the consequences in increased instability in the region will have a much higher cost. In January and April. But this, uh, current... It represents what the Americans spent in ice creams in 32 days. It represents what the Australians spent in uh, overseas travel in 10 weeks. It represents what German drivers spent uh, in petrol in uh, six weeks. I don't recall any bailout of any average dimension bank in the Western world that has not costed five, six, seven, or 10 times more. So what we are asking for is indeed massive from the point of view of what is normally the support given by the international community to humanitarian needs. But it is really, it is really very little compared with uh, what uh, is usually spent for other purposes in the world. The response so far has been so weak from the international This is not only a humanitarian need to support the people suffering enormously inside Syria and to support the refugees outside is also a key instrument to stabilize the region, to avoid this conflict to become a much more dramatic regional one. It is not only a matter of generosity, it is essentially for the international community a matter of enlightened self-interest. Many of those who are the ones... I don't think that uh, Syria needs more weapons and more war. What I think Syrians uh, and Syrians uh, and Syria needs uh, is peace, stability and security. Uh, lower the administration fees, which is ranging now between...